Welcome to Thack Tech Gaming. We're going to keep heading on with our Thea playthrough. Um, and uh, we're trying to get our guys um, to level up without dying, which is important and kind of hard to do. Okay, you'll notice we did, looks like we did get enough research to be able to pick our advancement point. Oh, I guess we, you start with one, getting to pick one. So what we want to do is we want to pick something that's kind of close that we can use right away. Um, let's see. Unfortunately, it's looking like probably Vine is one of the things we would want to do. Um, because it looks like if we check out our inventory, we only have 16. And as far as being able to, to, to build the buildings that we want, uh, which is buildings are, in my opinion, one of the most important things you can do. Um, but uh, for right now, I don't think that it's via, it's feasible to go look into doing any of this stuff because we don't really have any goods that we can build with that are worth anything. This is also not as not as useful as you might think. Um, the getting into the additional weapons and armor yet. Um, I think it's far more important to get the stuff here that it's going to allow you to level up your crafting, because leveling up um, and making items gives you research points. And so I think it's really important to do that. So we're going to go ahead and just pick Vine. And then we're going to keep going. Let's go ahead and check out Ostoya. So check the production here. And we're going to see um, we now have 14 vegetables, which is important. And we have 11 wood, which is good. So we're going to manage supplies. We're going to tell them that they should eat the vegetables and not the meat now. So now in production here, we're going to go to crafting. He's still making the gathering tools. Um, because we have some to start with, I'm going to go ahead and put her here on the gathering tools and then we're going to go ahead and move over to the cook meals and we're going to go ahead and set up these items now you'll notice certain things like the the vegetables have to go in the top slot they can't go anywhere else and the same thing with the the herbs they can't go in the top they can only go in the second but this cooked greens they're not going to give us any research points but they're going to get us eight eight cooked greens uh things out of only two and two so it's far more effective in terms of the amount of food that you get to, to combine these things. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that. Then we're going to go ahead and do another cooked meals. We're going to add um, the meat here. You'll notice that if we put bird meat in the top, we get cooked bird. Whereas if we put the two uh, regular meat, we get something called jerky. And it's important because if every single combination that you get is worth um, extra, <laughs> extra points. Um, as far as like the remember the ability to move more items so the variety of food is it definitely helps out in that in that instance so we're going to do that and then we're going to turn around and do this and now we get all of the different things so that's a whole bunch of different things and what's going to happen is we're going to make this and then all the leftover like uh, ability to to build things is going to move down to the next item and then they're going to just kind of fall through and then eventually we'll see what we end up with so that's that's our production that's how we're going to do that so now our expedition can come up here and keep moving actually i do want to come in here and check out the equipment because i didn't do that earlier okay so you have this is 10 armor if you mouse over you can see the combination the stuff on the left is the item that you're looking at in the inventory and the stuff on the right is the stuff the person is wearing i um, mean down here is the amount of weight that they're carrying um, so like this one is worth uh, 10 armor instead of seven armor so i'm going to go ahead and use that but you'll notice that his it, the weight went way up so it's important to make sure that you manage your weight and i do a lot of shuffling <laughs> of items um, because of that um, so this is a four five which is better than a four four um, i always will take the extra shielding um, and again i already checked that one so she doesn't have anything so that's good uh, four four three three okay what do you have Okay, definitely swap that out. Yep, so that stuff is kind of crap. So I should have I should have given that back to the people in the in the town or whatever, but okay. So that we're a little bit better off than we were. So we're gonna come up here and do a search here. I'm gonna fight. Okay, she does a crap ton of damage, but she doesn't have any armor at all. Um, or doesn't have any shielding at all. So I'm going to go ahead and reshuffle and hopefully, yep, it's good. So she came in my tactical hand, which is good. Okay, so he's going to do 25, holy crap, he's going to do 25 points of damage. Um, that's really not good. He only has 10 health. So what I need to do, and I, I get to play two cards, so what I need to do is I need to have him 
die right away. So I'm going to put her in, and then I'm going to run Confused because she's already hurt, so I'm going to Confuse him so now he won't be able to attack first round, so hopefully she'll take her 11 damage and do it to him, because if she does it to him she's going to be hurting. Because um, I don't have a good first action here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play Shield Ally here, so she's got at least 15, so sh she won't die as quickly. <laughs> But man, that's rough. If she attacks to the left, we're fine. And that, that was what I was afraid of. She was going to attack to the right, because, yeah, that sucks. Okay, so we won, but she got... You can see that she has the little red red uh, blood drop, and that's not cool, because she took way too, many damage, way too much damage. The good news is we got some more stand, sandstone, so that's fantastic. But because she's wounded, I'm not going to try to... Um, can I get back to the town? I cannot get back to town. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to camp. We're going to gather, and I don't think we can get anywhere close to enough. Yeah, 18 turns. Yeah, that's completely a waste of time. But you, if you don't camp, um, they won't heal. So we're going to do that. And I think that's enough. I think if she, yep, she doesn't have the little red blood dot or blood drop, so she's not going to die at this point. Um, but she's so wounded right now that I think I'm just going to send her, I'm just going to send them back to town and I'm going to have them drop off all their stuff. Okay, so we go to this stuff and I'm going to move everything over, all the listed items. And now you have to remember, I always forget this, you have to remember to take some wood, because that's important. And then you have to remember to take some food. Now, this fruit pie is something that you that they made. Okay, this crafting. Okay, so they're making the greens and whatnot right now. So, um, food. Okay, so I'm going to take 10 of those and 10 of those. I don't want to burn through that meat since we don't have a production. We're only producing the vegetables. Um, let's see. So equipment. Oh, I want inventory because I want to move. That's three, five, four, six. Okay, I want to... Where's my person that's wounded? Okay, 616. So Pekislava, I'm going to send her back. I'm going to take Trubislava. Trebislava. Um, now, production gathering. Okay, so she's gathering wood. We have vegetables. Okay, Pekislava. Now, if I give... If I, let's, see, let's go to equipment. And if I go to Pamir, he already has five gathering. If I give him this, he'll be at eight gathering. So when I go to production and I check out gathering now, by himself, he's able to get 80. So he's able to get now uh, enough vegetables every single turn. He's he's By himself, he's doing that, which is awesome, because now it means that we can almost get all the wood in one turn. Um, if I take her, it doesn't really help much. So I really need to get more... Um, gathering tools available. And so to do that, I need to have um, the, the trick there is the the items, the straw there. So let's go ahead and let's see, 105. Okay, we're going to do this because that's going to help. I, I didn't realize that straw was a <laughs> something you needed for that. That was silly on my part. Okay, so let's see. Manage supplies. Let's go back to the expedition. We're going to tell them they can burn that wood and they can eat that meat. And let's see. Let's check out our equipment. Trubislava. Let's see. Let's get her a sword, which kind of sucks, but it's better than nothing. 
Now, it does way less damage, but I really I, I really hate not having shielding, and now she's got 11 shielding, because it's 5 from the sword and 6 from the shield. So I, I just I really don't like two-handers like that, because you just take, unless you have a cr really awesome armor, you just take way too much damage. So we're going to go ahead and move that stuff back, and call it good. Okay, so you've used all your stuff up. These right here, these pop-ups are just telling you that you don't have anybody working on these items and that you created uh, something. In this case, we, it, we created a gathering tools. And then the resource gathering shows us that he got us some vegetables. So we're going to go ahead and end our turn. This is saying we have somebody that's not doing anything. And yeah, she's just sitting around right now. But hopefully, crafting-wise, we should be able to now, gathering tools, take our this... Uh, what is that straw and then we can make we can use the use the coal this is giving us just gathering of one that is lame gathering of one oh because we used wicker last time ah <sighs> well it is what it is Gathering of one means that you're going to get at least ten instead of two. So I guess we'll do it, even though it sucks. Better than nothing. Okay, so he's going to make it in one turn, and then he'll help with this one. Which should still get us that in one turn. Okay, so now let's go back to the... Who's, who doesn't have food? What? Manage supplies, Astoria. Oh, Astoria doesn't have enough. Okay. Fine. Astoria, you can do that and this. Okay. We're going to go up here. Explore that. Search. Got a sword. Got experience and one research. Sometimes it's kind of lame. It is what it is. Okay. Five. Trubus Lava. Yep. So that's better. Weighs a lot more, but 3, 5, 1, 4. Yep, we'll take that because that's a crappy sword. Okay. Now, is there anything around you? Yep, there's mushrooms. I think your guys' gathering it really sucks, though. Let's see, 198, 72. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this. See if we can get it in 3. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth sitting for three turns for 14. Uh, probably not. Okay, so this is how you get new characters, uh, which you're going to need. And uh, because your characters are probably going to die. Um, depending on who you are, what you have available, what characters you have, randomness, I'm not sure what all... <laughs> you'll see that there are five options I can choose from. There are 11 options that are not available yet because I don't have certain buildings, I don't have certain combinations of goods or whatever. Um, but you get to choose what class that the person comes in at. You don't get to choose what happens when they level, but you do get to choose the classes when somebody grows up from a kid to an adult. Okay, So, um, warriors obviously are awesome as far as being able to go out and do things, but right now we're having a hell of a time getting gathering done. Um, medics are amazing really good for if you're out fighting and you need to heal your characters or whatever and hunting always gives you benefit when when they're in a party because a lot of times they can you can do a hunting challenge which means that your guys don't even take damage um so that's also very very important but but really to start with in this game i find that the two most important things to have are warriors and gatherers so i'm going to take a gatherer and you'll see that you get a new character but then you lose a kid and then you get one experience so you'll notice now, if I go look at the goods, okay, if I select the Ostoya, oops, and I look at the goods, you can see I have three children left, okay, so that's, I have three more potential people coming. Okay, so this person has six gathering, so if I give it to them, then that would be seven gathering, um, but Pekoslava has zero gathering, so I'd like to give her that. Now, I should note that um, she doesn't have enough 
strength to be able to do that. She's only got 300. And this is a bad, it's bad quality, <laughs> which sucks. Okay, let's see here. Um, 130, 180. I'm just going to do that and just, well, I'm just going to leave her back at town, um, which sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Okay. So Unidrog here is going to help out with the wood, I think. No, nah, put him on vegetables. We'll do the, put her on wood. Because he's going to be able to do this every turn, which is good. And then we're going to be able to get this every turn. And then we're going to be able to get this every turn. Um, and it's important to be able to, to do that. Let's see here. That's 10. Let's balance it out a little bit like that. Let's see where we end up. Crafting, this stuff should be burning through just fine. Um, he'll, we'll get this, both of these done this turn, and then I'm going to go ahead and do another gathering tools here. Um, oh, I can't. Because I don't have enough wood. Because I'm not burning dark wood for that. Okay. We're just going to do it like that. Let's go into our inventory here and let's look and see, because you can deconstruct things. This is a 3-3, which sucks, so I'm going to dismantle that. And you, you do get some uh, resources back. In this case, this is bone and amber, which is 3-4. Um, let's go look at our equipment and see, because I, I really need to be giving some of these people something, because they don't have anything. All right. Yep, I should have done that before. Okay. Well, they've got weapons. Should have should have checked that. I knew better than that. Okay, so these are here's an example. So expedition one, all of our warriors. Uh, these two got an extra point of strength. He got an extra point of health, and then he got or she got tactics. And then back in town, we got folklore. We got gathering. This is really good. This is even more good, obviously. Uh, dexterity, will, intelligence, and strength. And you can, even though this person just now showed up, when 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 you level up, everybody that's around levels up at the same time. So this strength is always good because it means you can equip more stuff. Um, so that was our stuff that completed, and then this is we got more vegetables and we got more straw. So we're gonna go ahead and camp. Oh, got another adult. This is fantastic. Now notice that I didn't have some of the other options available, which sucks because I probably should have taken the hunter um, if I would have known that the next one was going to only give me the three options here. Um, so in this case, I think I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to take I'm going to go ahead and take crafting this time. Um, and there we go. So we got, we did our crafted foods. So now he, he uh, Theodore gives us some free stuff. And then we get two experience, two uh, research points, and we got some monster bone and gold. And those things are good for building upper level stuff. Let's check our expedition. I bet we were running out of food. Yep, running out of food. So now let's see where we're at. Are we doing anything here? Yep, one, one more turn to get some mushrooms. And then, let's see here. Production crafting. Okay, so he, you'll see that he they're both working together on this, even though it was further down in the list. So that's a good thing. So let's do another gathering tools here, because we should have enough wood. We do. So we're going to do this. We're going to do... Looks like we have to use the leather, which kind of sucks, because I really prefer not to do that. But it, it gives us one research point, which is not amazing. If we use the vine, we get a gathering two, which is good. And it does give us six more research points, so we're definitely going to do that um, instead. So we're, we'll confirm that. We're going to move this to the top. We're going to move these guys up here. We'll see if this new guy can... Nope, still can't quite get it done in one turn, which is unfortunate. Okay, so we're going to now go ahead and see about getting a crafting tool, and we're going to do this, and we can't because we don't quite have enough wood. So let's go to gathering, and let's move him into wood. 105, 110. So this is going to give us um, this, or we're going to double this, basically. 
So we're going to get double worth out of this guy because we don't need any more straw right now because we're only going to do a few more of those, but we need the wood right away. We're still building up plenty of uh, vegetables, which is good. We do have an extra research point. Um, and knowing what we know now about this wicker, we probably want to do this for the gathering um, ability. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to confirm that, and then we're going to click on this wicker. And it's going to show us that the wicker is right here, which is right next to where we are, which is great. That's fantastic because it means we don't have to use the straw anymore. We can use the wicker, which is good. Uh, we made our jerky and our cooked bird, and we got our wood and vegetables and straw and all that stuff. This is telling us we needed to um, have some stuff available. Some uh, food or fuel uh, was necessary. And uh, so now with the production again, we're waiting for one turn. And with that, we'll take, bring this episode to a close. And uh, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.